Lancaster has been characterized by this, uh, for a long time, by this terribly uh, poor outcome, right? It's one of the diseases where, when diagnosed as metastatic, as advanced, the long-term survival was uh, evaluated as being inexisting, right? Zero percent. It's not difficult. The bar was very low. And there might have been two very important fields of development. The first one is to understand the oncogenic pathway, meaning how the cancer is built from a normal cell to a cancer cell with all this invasive nerve and so on. And this is about genetics. We have been starting to understand how the genetic processes behind uh, cancer cells uh, happen and how we can potentially correct them somehow. And that's all the field of molecular characterization and what we call targeted therapies, precision oncology. For example, EGFR, ALK, and all these mutations that now we can address with treatments, very often oral treatments, pills that can be given instead of chemotherapy, sometimes for years before you need chemotherapy. Of course, this is not the majority of our patients, but some tumors are really defined by a very specific, I would say, molecular background that you can correct. The second chapter, which really improved this zero person of long-term survivor ship to something better, is immunotherapy. In all comers, all patients, and it's really another perspective, uh, the idea is to try to understand how can our immune system fail to recognize cancer cell uh, and let the tumor grow. And time after time, and it is also the, the reason why two of our colleagues got the Nobel Prize, we could identify some of the reason why or how the tumor can make itself uh, invisible to our immune system. And by acting on this mechanism of invisibility, right, we can correct it and make our immune system active again to get rid of the cancer cells. Now, of course, there might be many other mechanisms, but we know two of them, and we have been developing immunotherapy based on that. And based on that, it has really improved the long-term outcome. My field is thoracic malignancy, but instead of having, at five years after diagnosis, none of these patients being alive, now you have to think that maybe one out of four one out of five will be here five years down the road with a lung cancer, even when diagnosed as a metastatic disease. So it completely changes the perspective because we will further improve. But more than that, it changes also the way we do our profession, we work. Because speaking to a patient telling there's no chance as compared to there is a chance, we don't know if it's going to be you, but there is a chance that the things might work and work for a long time is a completely different speech that you have to handle with your patient.